hepatitis B virus or short hep B virus is a member of hepatinavirus family it causes inflammation of liver or hepatitis it is envelop virus surrounded by membranes membranes contains hepatitis B viral protein they have surface antigen HBS beneath the membrane there is protein shell known as capsid which has more antigens HBC is in capsid of hepatitis B HBE is found in infected individual serum inside the capsid there is viral genetic material hepatitis b is a dna virus which means its capsid contains partial double stranded circular dna which is made of long and short strand and it also has dna polymerase enzyme this enzyme is dna and rna dependent which means it can convert DNA to RNA and vice versa. The main source of hepatitis B virus is blood. But it can also be found in other body fluids like milk, amniotic fluid, vaginal secretions and semen. Root of transmission includes sexual contact, contaminated blood, following transfusions or injections with contaminated needle. So it is more common seen in people who use IV drugs. The virus can also be passed from infected mother to baby during childbirth. C-section can protect against transmission of virus. Rarely, during pregnancy, the virus can pass through the placental barrier. This virus targets the liver which is made of functional units called hepatic lobules. The main cells are called hepatocytes. Functions of hepatocytes are to detoxify harmful substance, maintain normal blood glucose levels, and synthesize important proteins like albumin and coagulation factors. Bilirubin and bile salts, they release from destroyed cells, they enter into bloodstream and impregnate the tissue causing jaundice bile salts gets into skin and cause itching bilirubin from blood is filtered by kidneys and ends up in the urine instead of stools making it dark while the stool becomes pale Insufficient T cell response or increase in HBS antigen binds to neutralizing antibodies causing chronic hepatitis. Acute hepatitis becomes chronic in adults about 5 to 10 percent of cases. In some cases liver damage can progress to scarring, cirrhosis, and liver failure. Also, increased risk of liver cancer called hepatocellular carcinoma. Hepatitis B has long incubation period of 1 to 6 months. Symptomatic hepatitis usually starts as pre-icteric phase with fever, fatigue, body aches and nausea. In ecteric phase, it can lead to jaundice and dark urine. 
in recovery phase patient gets recover very rarely individual can develop fulminant hepatitis with liver failure marked by sudden fever abdominal pain vomiting jaundice confusion and coma symptoms of chronic hepatitis b are typically similar to acute hepatitis but they are milder diagnosis of hepatitis b can be done by antigens and antibodies finding in blood like hbs and hbc antigens so hbs is the antigen which appears and can be detected first 1 to 2 weeks after exposure HBE antigen appears shortly after but clears quickly in acute hepatitis B infection anti HB core IgM antibodies can be seen HBS antigen HBE antigen and viral DNA can be found liver biopsy liver biopsy can be done to confirm diagnosis of chronic hepatitis B It usually shows hepatocyte granular cytoplasm with ground glass hepatocytes. Let's talk about treatment. Acute hepatitis B usually requires no treatment. Fulminant hepatitis and chronic hepatitis needs antiviral medications. Also interferon alpha and regulated interferon let's talk about prevention prevention is more important in hepatitis b infection screening of donated blood should be done some lifestyles can be avoided like unprotected sex and use of iv drugs high risk individuals like health care providers babies of mothers with chronic hepatitis b iv drug users people who have multiple sex partners and individual on dialysis they should be vaccinated against disease if the individual is exposed to virus Hepatitis B immunoglobulin can be given within a week after exposure to prevent the disease.